um, the very first question I want to ask you is, um, what inspired Bandile to start trading forex? Yo, um, so I started 2019, yeah, 2019, and that year I was doing grade 11, right? But the year prior, which was 2018, I was repeating grade 10, yeah, so I failed grade 10, right? And then after failing grade 10, I was like, you know, because I always knew school wasn't for me, you know? Um, all the yeah. new school wasn't for me so after like failing grade 10 I was like okay no like it's two years until I'm done with high school you know like I need to do something so failed grade 10 and then I literally like that year of like repeating I was like yo what am I going to do what am I going to do you know and I had Instagram at the time and um, there was this guy there was Jason Noah right um, I looked up to him a lot right but his, his classes were like expensive too expensive for me right I think they were like 6k at the time so i'm like okay let me look into like one of the students that are doing well you know and that was uh leadership right so then i was like let me try and make money like online you know because i know that i'm not gonna make it through like school you know like i'm not talking bad about school i'm not saying school is used to say anything but like me personally like it was like wasn't you know my like wasn't my destiny you know so yeah i was like nah i need to like do something because i know i'm not like I'm not blessed when it comes to the books, you know? So, yeah. No, I get it. Um, so, mm. when you start out in the financial markets, did you have like, because a lot of people struggling with how much money should I start with? Do I need a lot of money to start trading? Do I need to have 10K? Do I need to have, you know, a thousand? Uh, how much money were you there? Like, you know what, I'm gonna start now and I'm gonna scalp my way or how much money basically did you start trading with? Jago, how much money did you start with? My first deposit was 1k, right? But I blew that okay. like instantly. It didn't even last me yeah. like, it even lost me an hour, you know? I was gonna say a day, but that's long. It even lost me an hour, you know? But it, so in terms of capital, like, like yo, especially like when you start saying you need a lot of capital because it's not like you're gonna make profits off your first like initial deposit you know like everyone like you're gonna blow like and that's just the sad truth you know there are really a few traders who will tell you that they made a withdrawal after depositing for the first time like it's just yeah especially when you're a beginner you know so you first need to like seek um you need to seek like knowledge right and then like with like knowledge and like skill then you'll be able to like you know move on and that's when you like you start to like make profits you know it's also more than knowledge it's also about like consistency you know become consistent and everything so in terms of capital like usually you tell you like you just need to like train yourself psychologically that okay you know like i'm gonna lose it's like anything in life you know you're not gonna you're not gonna like pass the test without studying you know like you need to study like i feel like you need to st- people, yeah so like you need to study like you need to study so in terms of trading you need to learn you know and like we literally like you can never know enough you know you need to like keep learning keep learning keep learning and then like once you have like a certain like amount of like knowledge and everything that's when everything starts to be clear you know and then that's when like okay after blowing accounts like you know you get to like see progress and everything yeah so another thing in the market a funny thing actually is um Basically, so when I started trading, I was using a demo account, right? I feel like everybody uses a demo account when they're starting out, right? Yeah, so, definitely. So, demo account, you make money like it's nobody's business. You just there and you're making money, making money, making money. But then when you um, start to deposit money into a real account, that's when your emotions start to kick in, right? That's when definitely. fear starts to kick in. You might even see a setup. But you're so fearful because it's your it's real money now. It's not virtual. So yeah, how do you go about Emotions. dealing with losses when you when you've been trading from a demo? Now you're starting out to trade with a real account. So how do you deal with blowing accounts, right? And how do you deal with fear in the market, even if there's a good setup? Yo, like it's really like this comment says it's all in your mind, you know. Like I wish I had this mindset when I first started, you know. Like, I was scared, you know, like you, like you said, like, I was scared because I'm like, okay, it's real, especially after blowing accounts. The more accounts you blow, the more scared you get, you know? But, like, you just, like, I, I, I even had this written down on my own phone, but it got stolen. 
Um, no risk, no reward. I live by that. It's double R, no risk, no reward, you know? So you see that setup, trade that setup, you know? Like, you really have nothing to lose. What if that setup could be the one setup that actually, like, you know, breaks you through, you know? It could yeah. be your breakthrough, you know? So no risk, no reward. Take the risk, you know? And, like, in terms of emotions, like, it's easier said than done. Like, you know, you just got to put your emotions to the side. But trust me, it's hard. Like, I was probably the most emotional yeah. trader. Like, yo, I was, uh, yo, I was very emotional. Yeah. Mm. So basically, you're putting your emotions aside and just trying yeah. to focus on, you know, doing what's right, you know, preserving yeah. your capital. Because I feel like um, the moment you start making real money in the markets, right, the moment you start to generate that income, that's when greed mm. starts to kick in. That's when it happens True. to me. I don't want to act like I'm some, I'm not a, a perfect trader or anything. Same. Like I'm not even at your level, bro. So <laughs> you see, when it, when I when I see when I trade and I'm starting to make you know legit money, I'm like, okay, wow, okay, 10k, yeah, 20k, wow. And yeah. then I start to feel over, I, I, you know, I get overconfidence and I start to open up, oh, lot size, you know, oh, oh. Oh, lot size of a lot 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 of a And then, blow. So how yeah. do you deal with greed in the market as soon as you start to make money? Yo, like, you see, like, I'm not going to lie, I get greedy, right? Even this week, like, I was, yo, yeah, I was really greedy, you know? Like, it's just, it's part of the game, you know? Like, this thing is like a business, yeah. you know? Like, it is, you're going to make losses. You're going to have winning seasons and everything, you know? So once, it's all in the mind. So once you tell yourself that, okay, it's fine if I make a loss, then you'll be, that's when you actually see progress in your trading, you know, and like your emotions, like, you know, you'll be able to control your emotions, right? So, but in terms of greed, like, I feel like, like, you need to set a target. Not many traders have like targets. Not many traders have trading um, plans and everything. You know, you need to set a target, you know, your own personal target, you know? like 500 grand a day, you know, like that's, I started by making 200 a day, you know, that's when I started becoming profitable. Cause actually when I first started, I used to try, I used to try and make like 1K of one setup, you know, and so my mentor, Ashes, he was like, no, um, my boy, this is what you must do. You must, you must like, everything's like long-term, you know? So you must compound your money. Like you must stack up basically. That's what he said to me. He said, you must stack up. Even if you make 200 grand, that's fine. You know, and that's when I looked, that's when I looked at the markets in a different perspective. I was like, okay, yeah. let me like let me like you know aim small. Let me like set targets. You know, so um let me like make small profits. So I literally kept stacking my small profits. Like you, there was an account I funded. I funded um after blowing that one, yeah, funded another um okay, I funded many one Ks, but there was an account I funded one K, made a loss, so it was sitting at seven hundred, and I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna like try and make 200 grand profits each day, you know, slowly but surely the accounts was growing, found, found me doubling the accounts, you know, with through the initial, um, with through the initial deposits, you know, trading off profits, you see, you know, like small profits, like your small profits really do help, trust. So you just need to like accept small profits, you know, like you're not going to make 20K in one day, you know, like even me, sometimes, like, sometimes I don't get like, even like, like, how do I say this? I'm not going to, like, I made, like, 1K, 2K of a setup, you know? But then I know that if I'm being, like, with consistency, that 1K, 20K could eventually add up to 20K, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all about being consistent and know, taking small of... profits. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when you start out, there's a lot of confusion in the box. You just, it's so overwhelming, especially when you don't have a mentor or anybody to assist you, right? So mm. firstly, you don't even know what strategy to use, which strategy that works for you. Secondly, trading plan, Baba, it's very hard. I feel like, I mean, it was hard for me to create my own trading plan, right? So what tips would you give a person who's starting out in terms of um, picking the correct strategy, whether you could be a swing trader, day trader, you could be scalping, you know, and what does a trading plan consist of? Okay, a trading plan first consists of rules, right? Like, the, yeah. you know, like, it's, it's like, you, know, you need to train yourself, like you drill it into your mind that I will not be emotional when I take a loss, you know, those type of things, you know, 
if I make a loss, I'll stop trading for the day. You know, like those are just general rules, you know. Also, like, so basically losses for you, like, not losses, sorry, rules. Like, you must keep your emotions in check, right? So make sure you have rules that will keep your keep your emotions in check. So, like, I might sound crazy, but my trading plan, I used to ride. If I make, I used to ride, um, I would not get emotional if I make a loss, you know. And, like, I would read that every day to the point where if I made a loss, I'd be like, you know, I'll be chilled, you know. So you need to, like, yeah. train yourself. Like I said in the beginning, it's all in the mind, you know. Like, today, I can make a loss today. I'll be fine. Whereas when I was starting, if I made a loss, yo, I'd literally, like, cry, you know. So you need to, like, yeah. you need to, like, train yourself, you know. So a trading plan should have rules, um, should have daily targets, and it must be realistic, too. Like, your trading plan must be realistic, and your daily target must also be realistic, you know. Like, you can't say you want a daily target of 10K when you're funding 500 grand. You know, like if if you're funding like 500 grand, then set your daily target to be like 200 grand or something, you know, like stack up, like I said in the beginning, you know. That's true. Another thing that people, I feel like when you, when you have a broker, right, they give you an option where you get to pick which leverage you want to use. And since we are, you know, South Africa is a shitty country right now, right? A lot of people are losing their jobs. A lot of people can't even find an account. So when a person gets you know, five clean power, a uh, thousand rand, they, they're like, okay, I have a thousand rand. And if I go into the market with this e leverage, standard leverage that the broker is giving me, I won't be able to, you know, place a lot of trade. So let me increase my leverage. Let me increase my leverage so I can make more with the low that I have. Do you think that's a good idea for, for people to do? And if you're a beginner, definitely not, <clears throat> you know, yeah. if, if you're like a beginner, nah, definitely not, you know, like you mustn't like rush, you know, like, like I said in the beginning, like just accept the small profits, you know, like, so, and you might find like the market rewards you when you're being disciplined. It's actually pretty crazy. I was telling my one student this, that the moment you like, you, you like follow your rules and everything, you know, it's like the market knows, it's like the market was like, it's like the market saw that, okay, Pandile was being um, responsible. Pandile used risk management. Pandile followed his plan. Let me reward him. You know, the market rewards you when you're, like, following your rules, you know? So just take, like, those small profits and, yeah, so you might find yourself sometimes even, like, doubling your daily target, you know? Mm. So, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, well, in closing, in closing, what words of um, encouragement would you um, say to a beginner? Um, what words of encouragement would you say to someone who's been in the market, but they do not see any progress? They're trying it, but they don't see. They keep blowing, right? So what, what, what would Ubandi say to those people? Like, what I would say is like, literally, like, everyone's like, don't give up, you know, like, it's really... Like, remember that it's a marathon, not a sprint, you know. Everybody's going to finish eventually at their own time, you know. Everyone's going to get to the finish line at their, like, their own time, you know. Like, it's a marathon, not a sprint, yeah. you know. Like, you just need to, like, be determined, you know, discipline. You know, I really want this, you know. And your actions must also, like, you know, match up to that, live up to that. You must put in the work and yeah. I forgot I forgot something. <laughs> actually. In the market, I feel like indices are a thing now. But yeah. way back when I started trading, I didn't know anything about indices, right? And I must say they have humbled me. I'm very humbled because <laughs> wow. The level of volatility there it's Bro, it's crazy, you know. I thought if I could handle GBP pairs, I could definitely handle Nasdaq. Woo, bro. Oh, nah. It doesn't work like that. Nah. But, like, would you, re if a, a, a beginner comes to you and says, hey, I want to trade indices, would you suggest that they trade indices instead of, like, starting with currency pairs just to be consistent first? Um. So what I would say about that is, like, if you're a beginner, like, stay away from indices, you know? Like, I knew, like, when I first started trading, I was literally just trading currencies, you know, the majors and all that. I was strictly trading currencies. I only started trading 
in the season last year. I started trading in 2019. There was a whole 2019. Mm-hmm. I was trading. Okay, I started trading in 2019. But I only, like, um, started becoming profitable in, in June, right? So from, from June to December, I was actually trading currencies only. You know, I only started trading indices last year, you know. So for as a beginner, like, just stick to currencies. Like, all these mentors you're seeing on Instagram, they also started with currencies, you know. Like, I even still trade currencies at time. You know, everybody trade, everybody starts with currencies. Everybody trades currencies. You mustn't be, like, ashamed if you're trading currencies, you know. Like, at least you're making, at least you're trading, at least you're making money. You know, even if you made, like, 100 grand from currencies, it's better, than, like, Small profits are better than no profits, you know. Mm. So nothing, nothing, nothing is wrong with currencies. Like in the your indices will burn you when you when you when you starting. Even now, like sometimes I get burned burn by indices, you know. Burned I'm not trying to say. I'm not trying to. Like, yeah, I'm not trying to say yeah. like if when you master the skill, you won't get burned or anything. Nah, you you're still like you know, still make losses and everything. So yeah, it just just needs to stick to currencies if you're a beginner. So mentorship or signals? Me, this is personally right. Like yo, I, I prefer mentorship, right? Like that's why I offer like mentorship. Like in my mentorship, there are signals, you know. But when I, I don't post and say that there's signals in my mentorship, because people when I come to a mentorship with the wrong like um, wrong like state of mind, you know, like. I prefer, like, you know, I just wish everybody could understand that you, like, I wish everyone could understand knowledge is power, you know, like, like, you, you won't see a signal subscriber buying a car, you know, but you can see a student buying a car, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. and this thing of relying, like, signals are just, like, rather, like, learn, you know, invest in knowledge, you know, first you learn, then you earn, you know, and, like, you know, it's better because you're trading for yourself. Obviously, you're going to have, like, a boost from your mentor and everything. But in terms of signals, like, you relying on somebody else. Like, imagine imagine you come to me for signals and I die tomorrow, you know? And you've invested 10K in your trading account, you know? Like, so, yeah, whereas if you come to me and I taught you, if you come to me and I teach you on Zoom, I could die tomorrow, but at least you have the skill. At least you have the Zoom recorded, you know? Like, those type of things, you know what I mean? So that's why I prefer, um, yeah, mentorship over like signals. But then obviously there's nothing wrong with signals, you know. Like you can use signals. Like I give out signals in my mentorship to like boost my students, you know, as much as they're learning. But like you know, I still want them to like um, make some money, you know, like, boost them. But yeah. more like mostly focus on like mentorship, learning, Zoom videos, everything like that. No, yeah, goes, yeah, goes. But anyway, thank you very much for taking time away to you know have a conversation with us share the knowledge with us inspire new traders who are struggling in the market i'm sure they saw it but to those that didn't see it um i'll save this on my igtv so if anybody wants to watch it they can if you need it you can also save it so anyway and have a good one uh, no, no problem thank you you too yeah, Shout you too. Out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to everyone. Thank you.